So you're yes. So when I go into the studio, I usually start by grabbing some samples. Or even before that, I might go to the record store and just look through soul, reggae, rock, jazz, and old hip-hop joints sometimes just to inspire me for where I want to take the music today. So I sit back and I go through samples. Today, I had a CD of samples that I got from my friend Mike Karen's house. He has an ill record collection. He gave me samples to work with. So I'm going to go through them today and see if I can come up with something. I like to grab interesting sounds that, you know, you haven't heard on radio before. That you haven't heard on a record before. I hate when tracks just always sound the same. One of the albums that really inspired me was Dummy by Portishead. And I wanted to bring that sound to hip hop. Of course Portishead had a hip hop sound, but they had their own niche. And rappers never rap on beats quite like that. And I felt like the production on those beats were actually better than the average rap beat. It's like they took hip hop and just took it to another level with the strings, with everything. You know, on this album, we attempted to bring that element to hip hop. This what I'm doing right now is just a rough skeleton of a beat. But if you could imagine once John Bryan gets on it and adds however many instruments he might want to add, he does play every instrument in a whole string section. Hey, it could possibly be something. Rome wasn't built in a day. If you don't like this beat, don't hold it against me. Sometimes we'll make up to four or five beats a day and maybe only use two of them. It just so happens you get to see me making a beat today. I don't know if this one will ever really make an album, but hey, y'all have the inside scoop today. I just started murmuring some flows. A lot of times before I write a new rap, if I have raps in my head that give me, you know, that are around that tempo, I just spit raps like that. So right now I'm spitting some raps from late registration. Certain raps might have taken me you know, a few weeks to really compile because I'm very concerned about the lines. Every line means something. And other raps just come to me in a freestyle and everything is important. When I really get into the music, I start bobbing my head like crazy. I might have not taken it as far as I usually take it because the cameras are on. I try to keep my cool. You might have to catch me really off guard like a candid moment. You'll see me swing my arms all the way around the studio. It's really unrapper like. Well, until I became a rapper. But I, a lot of times if I have like some new drums I chopped up, I like to save them. That way I can use the drums later. Like I use the drums. From Used to Love You by John Legend on the Keisha Cole record, I changed my mind. I just chopped them up a different way. And I used those on uh, Just to Get By. It's nothing that makes me feel better than just the ability to create and to get paid off of creating. You know, that's the dream come true. It's not even like really work. Say, what you gotta do? I gotta work today. Yeah, I gotta work. So, Sometimes interviews are work and press, but performing for the fans or creating some new music, that's not work at all. That's what people would do when they get off work. They would go to the studio and attempt to like make music, attempt to follow their dreams. You know, I asked a question on Touch the Sky. I asked, Touch the Sky is a song on their registration. It says, I think I died in an accident because this must be heaven. To think that, you know, because I'm actually living my dreams, is this the afterlife? Is this what they're talking about? You know, it's, 
And there's, there's ups, ups and downs in a dream, but you got to, you know, bring it to fruition. You have to wheel positive energy into your life. You have to wheel your way. You can't let other people control your dreams. When you walk around, that's your life. Everybody's a part of your world. So you make your decisions. They, you know, not to be cliche, you say you make your bed and you lie in it. That's why I think I got a bad rep when I first came out. Because I refused to let other people make my bed. If someone wanted me to wear a throwback jersey and a shoot, I'd say no. If someone wanted me to pose in front of a car with rims, I'd say no. Even if it was for the cover of a magazine, I would walk away from it. Award shows, arguments backstage. No, I'm not singing that part. I'm not doing this part. Because at the end of the day, nobody's thinking, hey, that production guy, really, I really didn't like his idea. They're going to be like, man, Kanye had a bad performance. Just knowing that you reap what you sow. I try my best to sew up some, some Gucci or something. <laughs>